His power, it's amazing! What the fuck? What the fuck? No! No! Hello and welcome. Today we are looking at the Pisces written by Melissa Broder and published in 2018. So, a masterful blend of vivid realism and giddy fantasy, pairing hilarious frankness with pulse racing uh, eroticism. The Pisces is a story about falling in obsessive love with a merman. Yes, a merman, a figure of sirenic fantasy whose very existence pushes Lucy to question everything she thought she knew about love and lust and meaning in the one life we have. Lucy has been writing her dissertation on Sappho for nine years when she and her boyfriend break up in a dramatic flameout. After she bottoms out in Phoenix, her sister Anika in Los Angeles insists Lucy dogs it for the summer. Everything changes when Lucy becomes entranced by an eerily attractive swimmer while sitting alone on the beach rocks one night. But when Lucy learns the truth about his identity, their relationship and Lucy's understanding of what love should look like take a very unexpected turn. So will this fantasy be sexy or fishy? Let's find out. Pisces is for readers who don't have to love their main characters to appreciate a book. Of course, who cares about the protagonist? You know, who cares about the fucking protagonist? Yeah? She discovers the truth behind Theo's identity. He's a merman. He's a merman, but not one of the horrible creatures portrayed in mythology. Theo may be a merman, but he's all man and their sex life satisfies her more than any of the recent encounters or her relationship with her boyfriend ever did. But as Lucy tries to make their relationship work by bringing him to her sister's house, she realizes that this kind of life may be more complicated than she realizes. Lucy is one of those miserable fucking main characters who makes everyone around her miserable as well. You know the kind, you know the kind, including the reader. In the first few pages, she uncharitably refers to an innocent passerby as a butterface, establishing her as an unapologetic asshole right from the beginning. She's constantly judging people by how they look and only valuing people who are conventionally attractive. Later in the story, Lucy doesn't stop talking about wanting to have anal sex with this fish man and there's a whole scene about menstrual blood and marking his face with it. Let's just move on, please. The most tame quote from this book would be Lucy describing herself as follows at some godforsaken point. Quote, I believe in love more than anything, but I think I am very bad at it, unquote. That quote describes Lucy best, and it's honestly one of the only quotes that didn't make me shudder so much. Honestly, 90% of the book is filled with all kinds of hellish treats, just for you. The Pisces is just simply awful. I strongly, strongly recommend that you do not read this book it was a constant struggle to get through the majority of it. I'm being honest, it really was. References to animal abuse, anal sex, menstrual blood, I'm fucking done, okay? The protagonist is a self-centered, horrible person who you hate straight away, two-dimensional character development, the writing is simply awful and tough to stomach, and it's very difficult to think of anything positive to say. 270 pages of trash, 
stay away from this book, please. I have decided to give the Pisces an awful 2 out of 10. If you liked watching me suffer, please like and subscribe and I shall see you next time. I'm going to have a drink. Bye.